this video, I'll show you how to set up the Life 2000 ventilation system in the standalone configuration. The Life 2000 system can be used in different configurations of operation as patient needs change. In the standalone configuration, the Life 2000 ventilator is connected to a 50 psi oxygen cylinder, enabling patients to ambulate outside the home. Here's the components that you'll need to set up the Life 2000 system in the standalone configuration. The Life 2000 ventilator, the ventilator's AC power cord and battery charger, a six foot oxygen supply hose, a belt clip or carry case for carrying and securing the ventilator, a 50 PSI DIS regulator, which is supplied by your home medical equipment provider, an oxygen cylinder, and an interface, typically the breathe pillows and trainment interface. You'll want to choose a Breathe Technologies oxygen hose length that is appropriate for your needs. A six foot hose is included as part of the basic kit. With the ventilator off, connect the oxygen hose to the ventilator by pushing the quick connect end of the hose onto the gas inlet connection on the bottom of the ventilator. When connected, it will click into place. Oxygen cylinders of various sizes can be used with the Life 2000 ventilator. The 50 PSI DIS regulator is a special demand valve regulator that allows the ventilator to control the volume of oxygen that is being delivered to the patient. Because of this special feature, the barbed outlet flow on the regulator, if present, should be set to zero or off to preserve your oxygen supply. Your regulator may look slightly different than the one pictured here. Connect the other end of the oxygen hose to the connector on the regulator by turning it clockwise. To connect an interface to the ventilator, plug it into the interface connection on the bottom of the ventilator. Again, it's keyed in a special way to where it will only fit in one direction. Just before using the ventilator, turn on the oxygen supply according to the regulator and cylinder manufacturer's instructions. When not in use, turn off the oxygen supply according to the regulator and cylinder manufacturer's instructions as well. Power on the ventilator by pressing the power button on the ventilator. The green power indicator light on the ventilator should turn on. The ventilator will perform a startup sequence. The startup sequence is displayed and accompanied by audible tones. All ventilator indicator lights should briefly flash and an audible alarm should briefly sound. If you do not hear tones when you turn on the ventilator, contact your healthcare provider. When the home screen is displayed, the ventilator is ready to use. Press an activity button to begin ventilation. The Life 2000 ventilator has four hours of battery life. When the ventilator is powered on, you can check the battery level at the bottom right corner of the screen. Refer to the instructions for use for more information. If not connected to an AC power, make sure the ventilator has sufficient charge for your length of use. To charge the ventilator, connect the AC power cord to the ventilator's battery charger. You'll then connect the pronged end of the power cord to an AC power source. In other words, plug it into a wall outlet. The indicator light on the battery charger will turn red or green when connected to AC power. Place your thumb over the word up on the connector and connect the cord on the battery charger to the battery charger connection on top of the ventilator. When the ventilator is powered on, you can check the battery icon on the touch screen to see that the ventilator is charging. There may be a slight delay before the indicator appears. The ventilator can be used while it is charging. To power off the ventilator, push the power button on the ventilator for about three seconds until a confirmation screen appears. To continue to power off the ventilator, choose OK and the ventilator will turn off. When not in use, turn off the oxygen supply according to the regulator and cylinder manufacturer's instructions. Disconnect the interface, 
and then disconnect the oxygen hose from the ventilator by pulling back on the quick connect end of the hose. 